What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm actually gonna try out uh, a recent glitch that I've been hearing about. And it is the glitch of finding uh, a random rare chest in caves. Apparently it's a, it's a chest that appears and disappears within like the render zone. And, but So you could keep going to and from it to keep claiming new loot in it. And so far I've been seeing it in uh, videos of it being in winter chest and of course everyone's seeds are different so it will take a minute to find a proper cave that has like that chest concept but ironically as i was doing the last my previous video uh which i just finished it's like utilizing caves for uh quick traveling throughout the map and everything certain cave systems i came across a chest uh, I didn't touch it or anything because I was in the midst of doing my my quick speed run for the video. Feel free to check that video out. But uh, I'm going to go back in the cave now and actually test the method to see how it works and what we could get from it. So to do that, I'm going to build two chests to just basically put everything in. All my items in here. Hopefully all my items. All right, so as you see, I got nothing in the slots and also in the entrance, that chest is really close, which is, it's everything's aligning very conveniently for me, <laughs> which is just cracking me up because I was doing the speed run video just a little bit ago. I just finished up recording and I was going to do this video and I saw that that chest was in here. So, uh, I'm going to try this glitch to see how it works, what all resources we can get from it. And hopefully that shares more for you guys um to then implement and in your guys's worlds and use the chest glitch to get a lot of high resources because if you're not in the winter biomes yet the winter resources is the hardest to come by so if you're just new finishing up grasslands finishing up the desert biomes and now you're venturing into the winter biomes this could be a good helpful start for you just to start claiming a lot of high winter resources that you could apply to upgrading weapons, your your village, anything. And plus with the update coming out soon, it's it's dire to have a lot of high resources because it might take a decent chunk to upgrade to the newer items coming out soon. So enough talk, we're going to go in here, but I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments below. I mean, I'm a big advocate of like strictly doing survive survival mode like literally just not cheating in any way and just trying to survive but hey where's my where's my torch bro there we go so let's see so here it is see the chest and then we walk away it disappears you walk closer it appears so that's cool but anyways like i love being like survival mode getting everything for yourself and all that but i feel this glitch could be helpful to people uh, and I'll probably utilize it a bit to get uh, necessary resources just to make sure I have like the rift equipment items day one when they come out. But I guess they say from what I've heard and seen in other videos, you got to watch out for them throwing dynamite because if that chest does get destroyed, you can't use it. So he doesn't have a grenade or yeah, dynamite. So as long as they don't have dynamite, you should be good. So basically you go to it check it uh i don't care for cheese i don't really need food so then you go away from it and then you come back and it appears again and i guess when it does that it re refreshes yeah okay oh my god heavy wool and curse bone those are solid oh my oh little lag oh wow big time lag so go away and then come back honestly i think i got lucked out for this being at the entrance these guys not throwing dynamite oh my god bones and everything this is great so i'll do this for a little bit uh, i won't make this the whole video i'll speed it up and then cut it to the end to show all the resources i got from it and kind of give my final thoughts and reviews a few moments later and even if you don't have a grapple at the moment, like I do, or a glider, and you want something convenient, uh, I build a system up like this. For example, you could just run out, search it, and then run back. 
and you'll see it disappear and then you just run back in. So even if you don't have a glider or a grapple, you could still do this to be really convenient and help out. And I actually think it's kind of faster because when I like, it's such a small island that you have to land on. So sometimes you just fall off and you constantly have to grapple to and from it, to and from it. Um, so I feel this is really helpful just actually running back and forth. A few minutes later. Let's get out of here and check out the inventory. All right, so this is everything I've gotten. So we're going to go into inventory. It took about 10 minutes, I'd say 10 minutes max, really, to get all this stuff, which isn't bad. I got 34 heavy wool, which is great. Cursed bones, seven. That's really great because that's hard to come by, especially just fighting a lot of skeleton wolves. 15 arctic claws, seven frost shells, 73 dynamite, uh, 74 silk webs. Uh, oh, I got a lot of blue crossbows, which is great because those are still relatively strong and I didn't have to craft them at all. And they only have like 75% damage. So that's a big win for those. And then I even got an epic brute scale, three normal brute scares, Oh, actually, yeah, three normal brute scales and then drawstring, which drawstring is essential too. Uh, and then a lot of silk, which is great because silk is always useful. I, I like to try and craft uh, with balloons and make aircrafts to see if they work. So getting blast powder and the uh, silk is going to be very essential for like me to continue to build like aircrafts to find what works and not. And I got a crap ton of arrows too, 132, a lot of bread. Uh, and then just additional torches. So I think for like an eight minute binge of just checking that, it does provide a lot of valuable stuff, uh, especially like a, a brute scale. Like these are essential for upgrading certain things because I know uh, inner fire charm, I believe, either regeneration charm or inner fire charm or both take, they at least need a brute scale to upgrade to those. So to get good charms, you would need a brute scale and everything. So that's the concept for the winter caves and how you could loot and get everything. So I'm going to go take all this stuff to my village, which is so convenient because if we just come over this hill, boom, there's my village. So this is a perfect setup for me. I just got really lucky with this. I'll, I'll put my seed number right below in the video so you could see that. And if you want to check this map out with the seed number, you could do that. Maybe if that's something you're interested in. But I'm also going to check, I'm curious if sand, like desert biome caves have those. So uh, I'm going to go do some exploring and then I'm going to come back to the video and basically update you guys. Six and a half hours later. What's up guys, we're back. So I, after exploring many caves, I could not find anything in the desert biome that had a similar chest setup system that would have a loot in it and everything. I did log into the, my seed through sandbox mode just so I could fast travel and explore caves faster uh, just to try and be more efficient. It is the same map layout since I manually typed in my survival uh, world seed. So I just want to do it to get go by quicker. Uh, again, I did not find any chest that is built out the same way as the winter caves are. So if you guys, by chance, are able to find any of those wooden, like, infinite loot type chests in the, the desert caves, let me know. I'm definitely interested that, in that. So let me know in the comments if you find one. And let me know the seed. Uh, feel free to give me the seed and the, the coordinates. I'd love to check it out and make a video just to highlight the desert cave ones as well. But hopefully this video was insightful and helpful in some way. If so, feel free to hit the like button just to help the channel and the video. And feel free to subscribe for future guides and tips and everything. And also just, you know, feel free to comment videos to talk about or make on other guides and tips and topics. I'd love to hear you guys' feedback and uh, provide content for you guys and your thoughts. So hopefully it was good. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later.